no, that's not who you are. So I wrote to the people at the convention. I said, don't know if you're interested in having me or not. I did, um, I was a part on a, an anime show called Sailor Moon. <laughs> Um, and I was 
thinking, I never realized just how silly the audio can get. Like, made up so words cool. and the whole Sailor Sensei and lots of 90s slang. <laughs> Did you ever feel like kind of embarrassed when you're reading the scripts? Yeah, no. <laughs>
three different guys? Uh, well, Rito Romano was the first guy that did it. He did uh, episodes one to ten, and then I got brought in to do eleven to sixty-five. They gave me a guide track to listen to him, and they said, you know, try to emulate his his kind of syntax, uh, but make it your own. Because at the end of the day, I'd have to perform it for you know a lot of time. Um, it was interesting because it was actually the first role. I've been acting since I was a little kid. It was the first role that I had fun with because there was so much weird stuff and the interesting lines and also kind of corny lines too. Kind of? But the thing that I really liked was that there was a romance in this and you you don't get to see that a lot in animation, at least in mainstream or anything I've ever done. So to play a love interest, because I mean I wouldn't be a soap star any day soon. So this is this is it was a very cool thing to do. Like I don't know. It was a very special role, and uh, you know, 20 years later, as I say, get to sit here, and give you a hug, and that means something is crazy. <laughs> and and I, I honestly, we thank, I thank you. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, right back at you. Guys, for being a huge part of my childhood, and Salem has a lot of meaning and meaning to me. But um, the question I want to ask you guys is, how are you similar to the characters you play on the show? Thanks, <laughs> 
But uh, you know what? Uh, physically. <laughs> Before I became a voice director, uh, there was very little connection between me and uh, and, uh, and Grandpa. Uh, and I guess in terms of being a voice director, um, and this is not a character thing, but it's interesting that it gives you a different perspective than performing does. If that means anything, in terms of sort of extrapolating that to life, it gives you uh, sort of an inkling into what. Uh, a greater overview is for looking at all kinds of performances and having the obligation of being able to know everybody's performance and a whole bunch of personalities and make everything work. That's probably helped me a lot in my life in terms of maturing as a human being. Somebody had to be corny. <laughs> Thank you, thanks.